By using Ray Guy's techniques, every punter can consistently create a spiral. This aerodynamic rotation promotes greater distance and increases hang time. By combining the proper placement of the ball, foot position, and the straightness of form, Ray maximizes power while creating a natural spiral. With high-speed filming, we can actually show you how Ray Guy achieves this aerodynamic rotation. Beginning with the initial forward step and throughout the entire punting motion, everything should be in a direct line and towards a target. This includes steps, hips, shoulders, leg swing, punting foot, and follow through. All should be in a direct line and square to the target. Now that we've covered the step, the plant foot, the drop, the ball foot contact, and the follow through, I want to go back and review all these areas covering one aspect of it, and that's the body, directional, uh, which way you're kicking. And the reason I'm saying this, you need your shoulders and your body weight going in the direction that you want to kick. For example, if you're kicking straight, you want to step straight down the field, you want to make contact, follow through, and then when you finish, your shoulders should be still in the line in the direction you're kicking. You do not want to finish in this manner. This tells you that, that something has gone wrong. You either pull the ball or shank the ball. You want to keep your shoulder square on line. If you're going to the left, you want to turn your whole body, your shoulders in line in the direction you want to kick, and you want to follow through, be right on the line, and your shoulder square. Same for the right. You want to turn in the direction you want to kick, your shoulder square, you step, the follow through, and finish should be right on that line with your shoulder square. If you'll remember this, to keep your body and your shoulder square on even the line that you want to go, you'll have a, a successful kick. There's a drill that you use. It's, it's, a, it's a line drill where you actually, you're passing the, the ball. Uh, explain how, how you do that and the purpose of that. Well, the reason that we do that, and, what, and when you say a line drill, what we do is, is take the lines on a football field and we actually step down the line, uh, myself and another punter or somebody else to, to help me. And all that, that basically is doing is keeping me going in a direction that I want to kick. It's making me mentally uh, to visualize when I'm out on the field where I want to kick and where, I, where my body needs to be, where my shoulders need to be pointed, where my hips need to be pointed, and that we constantly just step down this line, step down this line. And it gets you into a pattern or a repetition of stepping straight every time. And, and this is the purpose of that drill.